Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are learning how to crochet the uneven berry stitch. This is a very beautiful stitch that almost looks like baubles or popcorns, but it's very easy to make and very fun to do as well. So for the uneven berry stitch, we are staggering these berries every row so that they are offset each time. This pattern is a four row repeat, meaning that once you get the pattern established, you will repeat the same four rows in order in order to create this offset berry look. Let's learn how to do this together. When crocheting the uneven berry stitch, I find it helpful to start with a row of single crochets. You can do a chain here as I have done with a chain eight to get seven single crochets, or you could do a foundation single crochet row of any odd number. Now, as I mentioned, we are doing a four row repeat, so we are going to do the first row of that four row repeat first. First thing is to chain or turn your work. We are not going to chain, we are only turning. I'm going to do a slip stitch in this first stitch here and try to keep that a little bit on the looser side because we do have to get back into that in the next row. Now we're going to do a berry in the next stitch here. In order to do that, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that next stitch and pull up a loop. Now that you have those three loops on your hook, you're going to chain one. Now we're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch and pull up a loop. You should now have those five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five, and then chain one to close the stitch. Now we're going to anchor that to the work by doing a slip stitch in the following stitch. Now we're going to alternate a berry with a slip stitch and a berry and a slip stitch and for this row we should end with a slip stitch. And that is the end of the first row repeat. Now we are going to chain one and turn and this will be the second row of our four row repeat. We're going to do a single crochet in this first slip stitch here. You're always going to place single crochets in those slip stitches on these rows. Now we're going to do a slip stitch in the top of the next berry, and you can see that each berry has two stitches here. This one is the chain that we use to close that stitch, so we're going to slip stitch to the actual berry there, the larger one of the two chains. Slip stitch to that. Now we're going to do a single crochet in the next slip stitch here. Slip stitch to the berry and single in the next slip. Slip stitch to the berry and single crochet in that last stitch. You should always end and begin the same row with the same stitch. So this one I started with a single crochet and I ended with a single crochet. And now I am ready for another berry row. So in order to do that, I'm going to chain one and turn I'm going to place a single crochet in this very first stitch here, and that is going to create the offset needed for those berry stitches to be uneven or to line up diagonally. Now I'm going to do a slip stitch in the next here. Now I'm going to do a berry, slip, berry, slip until I only have one stitch remaining. In that final remaining stitch, we're going to do a single crochet just like that. And that is the third row of our four row repeat. So now we only have one row left to learn. We're going to turn. We're going to do a slip stitch in this first stitch here. No chain, just your slip stitch. We're going to do a single crochet in that next stitch. Slip stitch in the next berry, always the larger chain of the two or larger portion of that single, slip, single, and slip. And now you will repeat those four rows over and over and over again to give that beautiful diagonal staggered effect on your berries. I just love the way these uneven berries look in this sleeve. I cannot wait to share this new pattern with you. Be sure to watch for that on hearthookhome.com. I hope you love the uneven berry stitch and I look forward to crocheting again with you soon. Thanks for watching.